everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video i'll talk about explainable ai um i hope that you have heard this term a lot many times but today in this video i want to talk about that why actually explainable ai is something which is quite important specifically in the severe scenarios what what do we mean by that let's try to understand uh, uh, step by step so i remember you know uh, i was doing in my masters from iit the project with respect to the healthcare domain in my thesis so what usually happened is that in the complete second year of masters you will be provided a thesis work and you have to do some research project so that's what uh, i was doing with respect to healthcare domain in my masters that's where i realized the importance of this explainable ai before that if you will ask me i was not even you know uh, have that respect or i would say have that uh, thing in my head that okay this is something which is quite important with respect to machine learning models or deep learning models so wh what i am saying and why is that important let me try to give you a brief overview and the thought behind that what actually i have learned so when i am saying explainable ai right what does that mean for example you are solving some problem you are solving some business use case you are solving some healthcare domain problem let's take an example that you are trying to solve a problem with respect to healthcare because that is something which i consider as a very critical problem that you are solving and if your model result will go wrong it can impact the health of the patients which no one wants right so let's take that situation critically for example you have been given a problem of detecting the cancerous cells in the ct scans so you have been provided a ct scan and the problem statement says that train a model train a model maybe you are somewhere using a machine learning model now this ml model that you are using or it may be deep learning model doesn't matter but you are training some machine learning model or any uh, model any architecture whose basic responsibility is to give you the predictions that whether a patient is having a cancerous cells yes or no so it's a kind of a you can say classification task and what i am giving to the model as an input is the i would say ct scans ct scans of the patients so this you can consider as the valid input that we are passing to our machine learning model now suppose uh, for few of the cases uh, you will be able to get a correct prediction also that okay whether the patient contains a cancerous cells or there will be no i would say cancerous cells you are getting a prediction accordingly but my major concern is that it's not about a classification task it's not about that whether my model is giving me a correct prediction of whether a patient is having a cancerous cells or not it's about that when i'm training the model with respect to the given ct scans what i want to really see is that what is the deciding factor for my ml model what is the decision making part what is the decision making factor inside my machine learning model that is what i want to check and that is where the purpose of complete i would say explainability ai came into picture explainability ai came into picture why because i want my model to give the interpretation interpretability i want my model to give the interpretation that okay it is giving me a decision of whether a patient contains a cancerous cells or not inside the ct scans how what's the deciding factor and that deciding factor is really important because what i will do is that i will maybe make sure with respect to the doctors that this is what my model is able to define a pattern is that fine is that justifiable to detect that whether a patient is having a cancerous cells or not and then my doctor will say that 
and that's where i would say domain knowledge came into picture i usually say that whenever you are doing any project in data science domain knowledge plays a very important role if you know the things that's well and good if you don't know you have to discuss with the expertise over that particular domain for example we are not doctors right and no one is expecting us to be having a knowledge of all these things but if project is coming up you have to discuss with respect to a proper doctor or i would say radiologist who is having a clear cut idea that what this ed scan is talking about so what i will do is that i will just try to draw the inferences the inferences from the ml model that what is the deciding factor it is taking into picture and that's where the explainability ai is pretty much important i can i can tell you one one very simple example here you can see one picture right now in this picture if you will observe just give me a second in this picture if you will observe what is happening what is happening very simple here i will be having a input image of a ct scan so this is a ct scan of a patient and here they are taking an example of a covid 19 data set if suppose i am passing this particular ct scan my model is say saying to me that okay whether the patient is infected or not that's the simple thing again if you will observe this is nothing but it's a classification task it's a classification task but the question which is coming in my head or which will come to the doctor's head is why it is saying that it, that this patient is infected can i trust you or not now what will happen is we will try to move ahead to the explainable ai so this is something where i am saying that was the black box ai where i don't know that okay my model is giving me the prediction of yes or no but how and in what in, in what respect what's the decision making part but when i am moving towards explainable ai can you see this highlights can you see this highlights so it is giving me justification that this is something which we usually called as ground glass and consolidation in the ct scans even the project is uh where the research paper also we have written is all about this only i'll show you that as well so there this, this is something where i can say that that's why my model is saying that the user is infectious now i will be able to get a justification justification of the decision that my model is predicting and that is something which is quite reliable to me right now i can see this is transparent with the help of explainable ai results becomes transparent that why my model is saying that yes this person person is infectious i see how you make predictions i understand why and now i can trust you because i understand makes sense that's where the importance of explainable ai came into picture because transparency is there with respect to every result which model which the model is saying to me i'll i'll give you one more demonstration of my uh, no you know research paper here if you will see this is the research paper automated quantification of inflamed lung regions written by uh, me as as well as with the team with, with my team in iit hyderabad and we have published this paper in embc conference here you can see the similar project uh, also i have uh, worked around that so here you can see that basically if you will observe this is the ct scan which is given to me which was the input now the important task is again to detect the infectious portion inside the lung so that i will be able to get an idea that whether the person is having a covid 19 or not or is infectious or not or is having a pneumonia or not any of the problem statement you can think of this is something where you can see right this yellow yellow portion yellow yellow portion yellow yellow portion although this is a result which is generated by different different models but i am not going in that much depth today the focus of this video is about the is about to talk about the importance of explainable ai and why it is important and even if you are doing some project with respect to autonomous driving with respect to healthcare domain please make sure that 
this thing you have to take care of that your model is giving the output but it should be able to give you the justification that why that is the output if you think that decision making part is fine the justification is fine then only you can go for that model to make up predictions for remaining test data that you have otherwise you have to regain uh, you know again uh, develop the model by using some different models or by using some different techniques here you can see that again this is something which is an explainability if my model is saying that the person is having infection in their lung why is that so because my model is able to give me the justification of this yellow region even i uh, calculated the infectious score that how much it is calc uh, you know infect infectious and we have finding find out the correlation with respect to the parameter which, which is given by the doc doctors as well so that we can see that how much accurate our model results are but anyhow we are not going in that much depth here this is something which i am talking about the explainability part and that's where again the importance of explainable ai came into picture now there are so many ways there are so many techniques with the help of which you can try to generate a model which is not only giving you the results but also interpreting that results as well and it's very good to have specifically i am saying in healthcare domain it's very important and that is all about the topic which i want to discuss here in a nutshell what i talk about i have talked about that what's the importance of explainable ai in our projects and in what scenarios it is quite important to use these concepts specifically i talk about here in today's video about the healthcare domain because i believe that uh this domain is something which is doing a lot of research work nowadays and in future also require a lot of wo more work to do and whenever we are doing any work of ai in healthcare domain explainability is very much important because we are dealing with human lives and we don't want anyone's life to be at risk because of the model's prediction that's why we want our model's prediction to be highly accurate and we can you, you know we can only trust the model if our model is giving us the justification of doing the predictions so i hope that you find this video very insightful if yes please hit like button subscribe to my channel it will really mean the world to me i have uh, you know i used i used to look at the stats of my channel and i have seen that almost you know 50% of the audience used to love to watch the videos but they are not subscribing to the channel you know if you if you will subscribe to the channel it will help me to reach to more audience who is not till now aware about this particular channel so i am doing my level best in order to generate the videos that to with quality content please do support me in this particular part and with this let's end this video bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my next upcoming videos